Hello, my name is Chuck Wilson. I'm the Industry Development Manager for Print Engines for Zebra Technologies, and I'm here at the 2012 PAC Expo Show in Chicago. And we're here splashing the new print engine, the ZE500, and I'd like to take you through the printer and show you some of the features and benefits of that device. First off, the PAX nomenclature is going away. We're going to a ZE500 naming convention, that's ZE Zebra Engine. There's many changes in this as it's a ground up redesign. The front panel, as you can see, has been designed. It's a bigger graphical display on the front, as well as a simple five button layout, easy to navigate our menu. No more orphan button off to the side. Additionally, these two screws can be loosened and this display can be rotated 180 degrees or with an optional kit can even be remoted up to two meters so that you still have accessibility even during odd mounting orientations. Now I want to go through the front of the Zebra ZE500 print engine and open that up and take a look at it. First thing you'll notice is that the ribbon system has been revamped. We've removed the dancer arm system in the four inch model which was famous for causing some nicking of the ribbon which may cause break during loading. Additionally, there's a QR code. If anybody has any trouble, even though the loading path is quite intuitive, they can scan this, go to our website, and look at videos on changing the ribbon, and changing the drive system, changing the print head, and many other features. Two print head toggles on the front have helped maximize the pressure dispensation across the print head to allow for dialing in a print quality. Easy to use outboard cam system. Adjusts the print head to the, to the platen roller in all three different axes, allows for maximization of a, of a print quality image despite whatever media is being used. The three rollers, the platen, the pinch, and the peel roller assemblies can all be removed from the front without removing the print and apply system or without removing the ZE from the print and apply system. To remove the platen roller, rotate, pull that out, platen rollers changed. Heavy duty pins that lock into a coupling system on the inside. The peel and the pinch rollers remove in a very similar fashion with captured fasteners that don't fall on the floor when you take them out. The pinch and the peel roller are now the same exact part number. No more putting those back in the wrong places. Three rollers exchanged in just a matter of minutes. Used to take hours on the previous model. I've turned the new ZE500 print engine around to show you the back. First thing you'll notice is there's no perforations in the cabinet. More conducive to a dusty environment or environment where washed down and water may be splashed around. Nothing can penetrate the cabinet to get on the motors, the circuit boards, and the wiring and so forth. You also notice standard connections of serial, parallel, USB, and wired ethernet. These are all standard with every device that comes out. An optional wireless card can be purchased to provide wireless connectivity. The applicator I.O. is now the same I.O. for 5 volt or 24 volt. It's just a matter of easily moving jumpers to convert it from one to the other. Still no fans in the unit, so the lack of perforations is key to a harsher environment. Taking the back off gives us complete access to the back via this cage system. The cage is open around in every area where I have to be able to unplug connections. And then it swings open very wide to give access to all power supplies, circuit boards, wiring, and our new modular drive system. This modular drive system can be removed with just three screws and used as a spare module or rebuilt on a bench top. The belts are underneath this plate uh, the belts are easily changed. What used to take a long time now takes 10 to 15 minutes. Even changing resolution in your printing device from 203 to 300 or 300 to 203 can be done in just a matter of 10 to 15 minutes. I wanted to remove the modular drive system for you to show you the ease of this process. I've loosened three screws, one inline connector, the modular drive system removes. These are the three couplings that go through the firewall for the platen pinch and peel roller to snap into. Three screws remove this cover and allow me to get to the belts. There's two belts instead of three. Uh, Auto-tensioning, very easy process to change the belts when they wear or need replacement. 
or even to change resolution from 203 to 300 or 300 back to 203. Ease of service and ease of integration are the story behind the ZE500, which equates to more uptime. And to top all of that off, we've also increased the print speeds on the 300 DPI models. The 4-inch wide 300 DPI model has moved from 8 inches per second to 12 inches per second, and the 7-inch wide 300 DPI model has moved from 8 inches per second to 10 inches per second. For more information from us or on the Zebra ZE500 print engine, please visit www.zebra.com. Thank you.